Hi, gonna do another update. This time on the design of the Dutch bucket, I add a new one. This one is empty right now, but uh, I'm going to be transplanting a eggplant that I have started by seed. As soon as the plant reaches a certain height. But I want to talk about the design behind the touch bucket, especially the return line, and some tips that I have so you guys don't don't end up with a overflowing Dutch bucket. On the bottom here, not sure if you guys can see. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's a bulkhead adapter, thread net adapter, whatever you want to call it with a PVC pipe. I forget about these holes here. It's a, the replacement water system. It has nothing to do with the Dutch bucket itself. But this brown PVC pipe here, a three-quarter PVC pipe, and by the way, three-quarter uh, bulkhead adapter, are the form the return line, returning water by the intermediate of this uh, 4 inch PVC pipe this is a 2 inch PVC pipe 50 mil uh, it sits on top of the other side the thread end side of the bulkhead has the function to prevent the gravel to fall in down the PVC pipe, the, the return PVC pipe, and and prevents uh, plants roots to actually getting down there, and that's a major issue because, as you guys can see on this other bucket and this Italian tomato, uh, the roots get quite massive. They 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 get quite thin, and they can basically go everywhere everywhere on the bucket but you don't want them to clog the, the pipings to reach down the the water drainage you want to keep them inside the bucket so I had some really tiny holes uh, along along the border of this outer pipe you guys can see the water uh, flowing back they have the function to prevent roots from getting in but in case they fail comes comes in in line this inner pipe here the function is to prevent overflow of the bucket so this is an overflow uh, hose this hose here will drainage the excessive water will drainage the overflowing water if the levels try to rise because of cloggings or blockages down below the return the return hose will fill in the function of returning all the water coming in to this uh, through this step from the step returning returning it to the tank we had a problem otherwise I would eventually have a overflow on the bucket which is quite bad because I won't be returning water to the tank and the uh, level sensor will detect that will kill all, all the pumps and yeah a bad scenario so yeah that's a that's a tip that I have for you guys every every time you you're doing a Dutch bucket try to think about the safety the, the problems that you might have so you ended up with a solid design like this and by the way I reached this design I, I create this design because I had this problem on the past last year so I know what it is uh, it's, a, it's a really pain when you lose water you, breath, you have to redesign uh, the, the entire the entire uh, project you, in this case the Dutch buckets but yeah 
uh, it's good to be safe and other f other good thing is keep this keep this return line uh, clean don't let uh, leaves fall in don't let anything fall in so I keep it with a piece of brick I keep it covered only take out the cover to clean up do maintenance with a garden hose yeah this is it on the Dutch bucket hope you guys liked it quick look at the fish Uh, it's winter here, so no, the water is a little bit chilly. I add more red tilapia, actually 12 red tilapias. Uh, but the water is on a, it's on a, it's on a good level, let's say. It's a good temperature, 19 degrees. The heater is working probably non-stop. Working like hell to keep up the water, but yeah. Hoping this summer I'll get you disconnect the header. Won't be needing it, but yeah, in the winter you definitely need a heater, especially for the tilapia and the tropical fish, because they definitely don't like uh, cold water. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.